David Huntley was diagnosed with ALS in June of 2013. Before getting ALS, I was a university professor and a distinguished lecturer for the Groundwater Resources Association of California. Now the former San Diego State University professor is forced to communicate using a machine. I have had ALS for two and one half years, and based on my progression, will pass in the next six to 12 months. Before he was diagnosed in June of 2013, Huntley had completed the Ironman race in New Zealand and the Boston Marathon. He thoroughly enjoyed the outdoors along with his wife, Linda Clark. Now he's not even able to kiss her. I have lost the use of my lips and most of the use of my arms, so I can no longer hug or kiss my wife, daughter, or grandson. Assemblymember Ian Calderon is hoping his legislation, AB 159, otherwise known as the Right to Try Act, can help. If you're given a terminal diagnosis where a doctor says, due to your disease, you're going to die soon, that you can try and fight for your life, that you can try and save your own life by, you know, getting access to an experimental medication that has not yet been approved by the FDA, um, to have that last fighting chance. The right to try legislation would allow eligible patients with a serious or immediately life-threatening disease to use medication not fully approved by the FDA under the supervision of a doctor. While the FDA does have a way for terminally ill patients to access these types of drugs under their compassionate use program, the wait could go beyond the life expectancy of some patients. Through compassionate use, you still have to apply through the FDA and, you know, if you're given a terminal diagnosis of a few months to a year and it takes you a few months to get approved by that program, well, that's your life. Right to try legislation has been introduced in 22 other states. It is the law in 17 states. This is all about giving somebody hope in their time of most need. We are not at all concerned about side effects. We're only concerned about extending Dave's life. And we had been without hope for a couple of years. And having hope is, is great medicine. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.